It is After Dark. It's John Fanta, Jeff Goodman, Chris Mack are with you here to break this down. Immediate reaction here. A 12-point game, and the Hoosiers come away with a win. Chris Mack, for Indiana, what's this represent? I think it means a lot. I mean, you know, obviously they uh, they also had a hell of a win about, a, you know, seven, ten days ago at Xavier, you know, basically playing down the entire game. Um, for them to come out, you know, tonight, I know it was their home crowd, but uh, really from the get-go, I didn't think that Carolina was ever really in the game once once Indiana started to, um, you know, they just their energy level from the very beginning was different. And they played all the way through, and, and Trace Jackson Davis is, you know, having the type of year that I think he expected, and Indiana needs him to have to, you know, be one of the best teams in the country. Yeah, it was like a, a validation win to me. Yeah. Validating the people that that – that were ranking Indiana, right? Like me, you know, top 10 ish preseason. Picking you know, this is a team. All that stuff. We forget, like, this was a team that was a loss away from not getting in the NCAA tournament last year. Yep. Think about that. They had to beat Michigan and Illinois in the Big Ten tournament just to get in the first four. Everything and, changed. You know, the other thing is that I really like about IU is, you know, you got Xavier Johnson, who, you know, I know he has some, some weaknesses, but man, he's a, fifth year old you know senior and the thing that he does is he plays his tail off man he yeah. plays hard he's going to defend he's going to keep driving the ball driving the ball driving the ball you know he knows where his bread's buttered and he takes a lot of pride in that role and uh, you know you can just tell he wants to win here's the thing that stands out jeff north carolina five assists yeah yeah, well, on the entire game, they couldn't run any offense. I mean, they legitimately couldn't run any offense and did not run any offense tonight. But give Indiana their defense a lot of credit, right? Like they wore them down. They brought in guys like Jordan Geronimo yes. and, and Trey Galloway and Tamar Bates. And obviously, Renu is really good. You know, Chafino, Jalen Hood, Chafino, and Renu played together at Mount Verde. And uh, like, I love Renu. Like, what he adds to this team, different look. They just have depth now. They're not so reliant on having to play Trace and Race so many minutes. Trace played 31 tonight. Race played 27. To be honest, if it weren't Carolina, they probably would have been down a little bit from there. You know, one final thought on Indiana, Jeff. Mike Woodson. Yeah. The NIL component the brand that they are in this current day, let's face it. Let's face it. A couple years ago, people didn't know what to make of Indiana basketball. And a year ago at this time, people would not have been able to say, well, they, they could be the class of the big 10 conference. The, the Hoosiers have never won the big, the big 10 tournament. They've never won the big 10 tournament. That's on the table among a ton of other things. Like, what do you make of the state in this program? And if you're a Hoosier fan right now, I want to hear this from you. What is the realistic expectation that you should have for this program this particular year? Well, let, let me say this. I was a, a skeptic when they hired Mike Woodson. I mean, a complete skeptic, as I am for most former NBA players or coaches that get hired to, to college because as I put out a whole deal on it with evidence with 50 guys, most of them uh, do not fare well. And Mike Woodson was 63 when he got hired and had never coached in college. Now, he was able to, to keep, you know, Trace, which was absolutely huge. He was able to, um, you know, keep a guy who's now a superstar or one of the best players in, in college. But I think what, what separates it now, and Chris, I don't know if you agree with this, but if you can sell two things – and they're both three letters, then you can absolutely win at the highest level. If you can sell NIL and NBA, those are the two most important things. If you have both, you've got a chance to, to, to win at a high level. We're dropping our merch. We got to start calling it Underwood Daddy Brad. But I'm a big yeah. odd guy.